All right, Dead Pikachu here, and today I'm showing you guys a special Red Dead Online tips and tricks video. And in this video, I'm going to show you all how to use a hunting wagon. So press and hold left on the D-pad, bring up your catalog, go to Workwear and Trades. It's the last category there. Then go to the Trader and scroll over a few pages, press R1 and find the hunting wagon there. It's 875 and you can purchase it once you reach rank 10 in the hunter role. So go ahead, pick up that wagon and you'll be able to get materials so much more efficiently for crypts while you hunt. So I'm gonna show you guys all how I use the hunting wagon. All right, let's do this. Okay, so I'm out here hunting. I got a three-star animal on the back of my horse. There's another three-star animal there. So I'm gonna wanna take both of these out to the main road so I can proceed to stow them in my wagon. So to do that, select the lasso from the weapon wheel, press and hold L2, R2, let go of R2, then keep holding down L2 till you know that lasso is fixed around the animal's neck. Once you know that lasso is fixed, let go of L2, then proceed to drag the carcasses through wherever you are into the main road where then you can proceed to call your wagon. This makes it so much more easier to stow the animals in the wagon. And just so you know, you can only lasso herbivores, large herbivores, and alligators. You can't lasso any other animal except for those animals. And you can only lasso them when you haven't skinned them. So now that I'm here on the main road, I'll take my carcass off the horse by pressing and holding square. And I'll drop it over by this other carcass I have here. And I'll press and hold L2, make my horse flee by pushing circle. Now that my horse is gone, I can tap left on the D-pad. And I'll go to stables, go to vehicles, own vehicles, and I'll bring out my hunting wagon. Now sometimes they might not be able to reach you, so make sure you stand directly on the main road. It is very sensitive. As you see here, it has to be directly on the main road. So once again, I will call my hunting wagon and I won't run to it. Let the wagon come to you. Don't go towards that wagon because if you run to that wagon, then you're going to find yourself having to run back and forth to where you put the animals and having to waste time running that distance when you could just wait for that wagon to approach you where you have placed your animal carcasses already. So now that the wagon is here, pick up the animals that you have left off to the side, walk to the back of the wagon, press and hold square to drop the items into the wagon cargo. So now I'm gonna pick up this carcass here and I put a large pelt already in there. Both perfect. I recommend stowing perfect animals in your wagon. So now that you've stowed them both in the wagon, you can always check your cargo by pressing and holding right on the D-pad. It brings up your wagon cargo. As you see, I already have two items in here. I can store five max. So now I'll bring up the wagon menu by tapping left on the D-pad, going to stables, going to vehicles, own vehicles. Now I push square to dismiss the wagon and I'll be able to call my horse again. And when you dismiss the wagon, the animals that you put in there, they stay in the wagon. They don't disappear. In fact, even if you log off and close the game, the animals will still stay in the wagon when you replay the game again. It's like having items in your inventory. They don't go away. So feel free to dismiss that wagon and continue hunting on horseback until you've collected enough animals to fill up your wagon and then make your way back to camp. Okay, I'll see you guys back at the camp. Okay, now that you're all done hunting and you're back at the camp, whistle for your horse, bring it over, press and hold triangle to open up the Crips Trading Company, then give him the materials that are in your horse's inventory. Once you have cleared all that out, you can then proceed to go to your horse, look at it, tell it to flee, press and hold L2, circle, then make your way out to the main road where you will then be able to summon your wagon that's filled now with a lot of items, I hope. So I'll see you guys at the wagon. Okay, so now that I am at my wagon here, I'm gonna try to drive it close to camp. I don't need to make it very close to camp, just sort of like in the vicinity. You don't need to put it directly near the trading company table. You can just go leave it off to the side. As you see, I don't bring it all the way into camp, just close enough so that Crips can access what's in its inventory. So I'll go press and hold triangle, go to materials and be able to now donate all the animals that are in the wagon in order to fill up the materials. So that is basically how I use the hunting wagon when I am trying to get materials 
over to Crips in order to get the trading company goods a growing. Okay, so now I can dismiss my wagon, call back my horse, and keep doing that all over again. Rinse and repeat. That's simple. Okay, that'll be it for this one, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed that. Feel free to smash that like button. Comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Say, I choose you, Dead Pikachu. And join the Dead Pikachu crew today. Yeah. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. Take care. And bye. <laughs> yeah.